After a disappointing second NBA season, Kevin Knox is taking advantage of a fresh start with the Knicks' new coaching staff. Entering his third NBA season, it's easy to forget that Kevin Knox is younger than Knicks' 2020 first round pick, Obi Toppin. Though, Knox has emerged as a dangerous outside shooter, making nine of his last shots from beyond the arc. Though Knox is only 21, so before we start the video, I want to hear down below in the comments your opinion on Kevin Knox. Is he going to be a bust? Is he going to improve this year? Serviceable role player? Let's hear it, and let's talk about what to expect from Kevin Knox. Here's a quote from Coach Tibbs I want you guys to hear. Looking at his career, when he's taking good shots, he's always made them, or at least had a good chance of making them, Coach Tom Thibodeau said. And when he's eliminated the tough shots, it makes him a much better player. He plays with a lot more energy defensively, but I want him to get himself going with his defense first, running the floor, rebounding, then spacing the floor. Kevin has worked extremely hard to get himself ready for the season. Basically, I believe that if Coach Tibbs is playing Kevin Knox, same thing with Emmanuel Quickly is that they have to be playing defense in practice. Coach Tibbs doesn't play guys that aren't going hard at practice you can tell like if you guys don't know this coach tips is the guy who all he cares about is defense 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 so he'll start guys who aren't that great offensively due to the fact that he knows they're going to generate boat loads of defensive plays for him and hopefully the offense catches up that's that's his philosophy obviously he likes you know scores and stuff but the young guys if you're a young guy like kevin knox manual quickly but this video is about kevin knox i have an Emmanuel quickly video out from yesterday go check it out Though, Kevin Knox is going to be a guy that, if he's going to continue getting play time, it's because he's going balls to the wall in practice. Just being hard, playing hard, doing what he has to. Basically, Kevin Knox is the type of guy that, if you want to... I feel like he's a guy who has the size to be a really good defender. He can guards ones, twos, and threes easily. Even some maybe small ball fours. Kevin Knox, I know he's 215, 6'9", and... This kid, I personally think he could be a 15-point scorer easily shooting at 40%. And I, I know it doesn't do him justice if we just look at his advanced stats. But if you see in his rookie year, okay, he was his usage rate was 22%. And he, he was shooting, true shooting, almost 50%, which isn't bad for a rookie. It was 47%. So with that being said, if he could at least get back to his rookie year i guess that's like a little glimmer of hope you know it's not what you want you want him to be better than what he was his rookie year so that's what it comes down to but i could see kevin knox fitting into a role playing the small four position between if they start at the point guard position that i assume it's going to be emmanuel quickly or frank neil kina then they run at the shooting guard position rivers or burks or bullock or barrett you know like because Bear could come off the bench this year. I, I assume he's going to start, but, you know, he could. They could have, like, Austin Rivers or someone who plays better defense start. And then Kevin Knox at the small forward position next to Randall and Mitchell, which I think would be a really good, like, offense because Knox, he has the size to play, cover, to defend anyone. Like, he has the length. I really do really like Kevin Knox. Like, Kevin Knox, if, we, if you guys do not remember, I'm, like, 95% sure his wingspan is... A lot larger than people give him credit for. I'm like going on here. I'm on real GM. Yeah, his wingspan is 6'10", it seems like. And Kevin Knox is a guy that I believe can easily become the Knicks's, like one of those guys who quietly becomes better every year. And he's never going to be a max guy. He's a 6'11", not a 6'10". A 6'11 wingspan on a 6'9 frame. That means he can block shots. I see him as a guy who can average one block, one and a half steals a game. Shooting almost 40%, hopefully around 38 37% this season. And being a very big factor for the Knicks. Now, as we go into like kind of more of a Knicks video now, we can talk about how our man... I'm trying, I actually kind of just deleted but... Either way, the Knicks are a team that's interesting because they're very young and they're pretty much the Kentucky Knicks, if I'm going to be honest myself. But they have a shot at being really versatile. Look, Mitchell Robinson and Nerlens Noel could be one of the best starting backup defensive big mans in the league. It all comes down to if Nerlens Noel puts his mind into it. Julius Randle, I feel like, has been always criminally underrated. Yeah, it's not that he's underrated. I feel like he gets no respect. Everyone's like, it's Julius Randle. He's not doing anything good. 
ignore his points. Ignore everything he does because he's not a uh, franchise changing player. But honestly, I'm going to be honest. I think I'd rather have Julius Randle than Aaron Gordon. I think I would take Julius Randle over Aaron Gordon. And I know that the completely different teams, but like that's what I'm saying. Like people are always like Aaron Gordon's always in trade rumors and shit like that. But I think Julius Randle's more of a complete player than Aaron Gordon. I know Aaron Gordon brings more of a defense stuff, but but I really like the idea of Mitch Rob Randall and Kevin Knox being there. You know, or even Omari Spellman being the power forward and Randall off the bench. But Kevin Knox will just spread to the floor next to RJ Barrett, Mitch Rob, whoever they run at point guard. I really want him quickly due to the fact that he is going to be a guy who I really do believe can be the starting point guard and spread the floor, give it, give the guys the ball, make some plays with his feet, like in the sense that like trick people into thinking he's going to drive and then kick it out. But it really comes down to Kevin Knox. Can he, he averaged 12.8 points his rookie year. Can he get that to 15 points, close to 16 points? Get us like almost 40% from three, shoot like 45% from the field goal, and maybe draw a couple fouls a game. That'd be like the dream. Don't you guys agree? Like, I, I really do believe that this guy can be an interesting player. It's not like he is a terrible player or has nothing to work with. I know he's one of the worst players in the NBA, or if not the worst player in the NBA last year. And that kind of sucks. That really must suck because. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to be the worst player in the NBA, but shit happens. So it just really sucks that happened to him. And I really hope that he can bounce back. You know, obviously if he's playing, that means he's doing really well in practice, which I said in the beginning of the video, Coach Tibbs is only going to play guys who do really well in practice defensively. So it's just, I just think it's really good to see that they're going to be able to have Kevin Knox maybe take a jump this year and be a better player because that worst comes to worst if he's playing just all right but better than he was last year you could probably trade him and there's n nothing wrong if they traded him it's just like might be a matter of time this could be kevin knox's last season like if he doesn't do anything this year i feel like they have to trade him you try to get a second round pick or maybe a late first round pick and just try to see if you could develop him into something you know that's always what you try to do. And there's nothing against him or anything. It's just like, damn, you wish he he would have been able to be better. But I think Kevin Knox will have a good year this year, be close to 40. I see him shooting at least 36, but I can see him shooting between 36 and 39, realistically. But he could have hit 40. You, you don't even know. He's been shooting so good this this the start of the year. So it's... It's interesting to see what he's going to do or what he's trying to do. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think if he doesn't or if he just goes back to being his rookie year, if he goes back to being what he was his rookie year, I think they trade him by the deadline for picks, cash, or a player can contribute now or a guy, a younger guy who's in his second year instead of his third year. It's just, you know, they're probably going to pawn some pilot this thing if he doesn't work and just you know, wash your hands of the situation. But that's pretty much it the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you thought. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Until next, guys, puppies out.